Our friends Joe and Kelly flew all the way out here to come and visit us today in Split. And we're going to spend the day checking out the awesome downtown, going to the palaces, and seeing everything. Lots of editing, lots of napping, and lots of editing. It's pretty much all we've been doing these last several days. Interspersed with a little bit of meetings and fun games and fun team building exercises. I gotta say, it was kind of nice to compartmentalize and say, okay, this is all we're doing in Split for the next seven, eight days. And now that we're coming out of this and our friends are here visiting, it's fun to go out and explore. But even after all of that, we still have a huge backlog of videos to still edit. So we're meeting our friends here at Cookie Lab and this place so far has been absolutely delicious. The coffee here is top notch. If you're looking for a good coffee spot in Split, this is definitely it. They have these amazing little dessert things, but the thing that Cookie Lab doesn't actually have is any cookies. Hmm. You know the bottom kind of tastes like like a fig bar, a granola bar. Mm. The outside is nice like a cheesecake. Mm. Well, I'm about to rub this guy's big toe for good luck. Maybe we'll find someone to take us on their yacht this weekend. Let's go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> So now we're walking into the old town of Split, which was actually just Diocletian's palace. It's this massive square that was built around the center of the palace and it's filled with just tiny winding streets going every which way. It's a really cool area to hang out in. Now Split is also a massive cruise ship destination. So twice a day, like clockwork, every single day, this whole old town will just fill up with people coming straight off the cruise ships. And then about an hour or so later, you hear the and everyone just gets on out of here and it becomes quiet again. It's crazy, it's kind of like the tides, except for with tourists. I think one of my favorite parts about Split is that they have built all the restaurants and the cafes and the stores all within the, the ruins and the ancient buildings that exist here. It's so cool, and how do they stand up the test of time and weather and all of it? It's just beautiful. I love Split.
All right, so we stopped at definitely the highest rated ice cream place in all of Split, Yolateria Emiliana. And the line here is usually 15 to 20 people deep, and then at night it's like all the way down the street. Bounty Cocoa Shop, or Pistachio, or Pesca Erosa. Is Pesca fish? I don't think so. Pesca is like fish in Spanish, but that would be a weird gelato flavor. Let's go see if the in-person reviews are as good as the ones online. Mm. I asked her which one was her favorite, and she said it was the honey with peanuts and caramel, and I was between this and the pistachio, so I got this one. It's a lot creamier than a lot of other gelato places. Velvety. Mm -hmm. Velvety? Velvety. Good descriptor. Joe, what's your review? Velvety. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that from him. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it was a good line. Good Definitely the best we've had in a long time. So we spent the afternoon walking around, mostly randomly, trying to go as uphill as we possibly could. And we were looking for a place and we kept trying to manifest different things. We were trying this uh, manifestation theory of if we just be as specific as we can about the thing that we want, maybe eventually it'll find us or we'll find it. We kept asking for a place where the tables are kind of half full and a place with relatively cheap wine and a good view of the city and everything else. And then finally, after walking all the way around, all the way to kind of the top of Split and back, we make it to the place that's about three blocks from where our Airbnb is. Two possible morals for this story are the first one, which I think is the most likely, is that you first have to go really, really far away and do something a little bit difficult to be able to realize that the thing that you wanted or needed was uh, right at home the whole time. And potential moral number two is that most likely the thing that you're looking for is much, much closer to you than you think. You just have to look a little bit harder for it. I know those two kind of sound similar, but they're different in spirit, I think. <laughs> These guys are super excited about being in our videos. They literally ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I like oh, that's the good stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so I think the moral of the story is uh, you have a spider on you. I'd say the most likely moral of the story is that... Uh, oh, 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 no, I forgot what I said. What are you going to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs>